Hi guys, today we're going to do a get ready with me uh, using things that uh, belong to my stash. Uh, the things, basically the things I showed you in the first get ready with me up here. <laughs> I'm going to do an uh, eye look using Sample Beauty pigments. This time I'm not going to just fool around with the pigments, I'm going to try and do a real look. Let's see how I do. I'm going to do my eyes first because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of fallout and I want to be able to clean up before uh, doing the rest of my face so that I can get a clean look. So without any further ado, let's start. My face is already hydrated and I'm going to proceed with the primer so it can set while I do my eyes and then it's ready when I do my foundation. Warm it up in my hands. Spread it around. This is really relaxing. Spread it in upward movements. I'm going to use this NYX eyeshadow base because I, I found it to work really well with my eyeshadow in my last video. And I used these pigments. They actually lasted all day in my eye without budging. The eye look wasn't my best <laughs> performance yet. Ooh, I need to pluck this eyebrow. But I was just really playing with pigments for the first time to see how they work. Probably going to need to wet my brush. There you go, white eyes. Get my brush. There are uh, several techniques of doing your eyeshadow. Some people like to do to start with a darker crease color first and then uh, blend it away with a lighter color for the, transition color upwards toward the brow, brow bone. Another technique is to start with your transition color and darken it up with uh, with your crease shade and uh, other color, darker color. I think I'm going to start with the darker color this at this point, at this time. Wish me luck. So we're going to start with a matte shade. Shade 5B, which is this gorgeous green. This is going to be my darker color. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous because, dude, I've never tried to do a real look with pigments before. Let's see how this goes. Wow, these are pigmented. Awesome. Don't worry, this looks crazy now, but we'll clean it up a bit afterwards. Whoops! <laughs> These blend beautifully and wow, holy pigment. <laughs> holy pigment. I'm a little scared right now. Wow, these blend like... I'm going to need to darken it up a bit, pretty sure. These blend like, like a charm. Okay, let me put the lid on this one first. I'm going to have to put the lid and take the lid off back it's for each use because these are, this can be really messy. All right, now the lighter shade. Lighter shade, here the it is. It's called Katie. And it's shimmery. Wow. Holy foil. Wow. <laughs> wow.
I think I'm now going to darken up the other corner with a shimmer shade called Drew. And it's more of a teal. Let's see how this goes. And then I'll go in again with the shade 5B. Dampen the brush again. This seems to be working well with the uh, with this space and uh, wetting the brush a bit. Minimal fallout so far. It's not done yet. Don't worry. Don't come for me. Now let's go back with the matte green. Wet the brush again. I'm going to clean it up a bit before I go in with my base. There you go. These blend like a charm. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm really not a pro. And these are easy to use. Now this, I, I realize this is not a very elaborate look and it's probably not an everyday look for everyone, but I, I do wear this kind of look for work. When I, when I go to work, I, you know, when it's, when we're not in lockdown or something which is the case at the moment, so not going anywhere, but uh, in normal times, I do wear makeup like this to work. Fortunately, I work in a place where you're allowed within reasonable limits to express yourself this way. It is important to note that I don't deal with customers directly but we do have meetings with the directors, board. You have to be presentable. This is a presentable look. Now, what I'm gonna do is my base. I'm going to put my foundation on, bronze, blush and uh, highlighter. And then I'm going to do to finish the eyes with the lower lash line and maybe some liner lashes. I'm not sure about that yet. So yeah, let's continue. My brows. Just fill them in a little, not too much. I found out that this I've been using this powder and it's too warm for me and uh, too dark. It's funny how you use something for quite some time and you're okay with it until you use something else and whoops, that was totally wrong. Wrong shade for me or, you know, using it totally wrong method-wise. But it's, this is, makeup is a, a work in progress, a learning process. Lifelong learning process, I guess. You're always learning new tech, learning new techniques, new ways of using things. You know, it's just versatile and keeps changing. That's why I love it so much. It gives you creative, creative freedom to do what you want and find out new things, discover new things. 
All right, let's do our base now. For base, I'm using, I'm still working on the Bobbi Brown Skin Weightless Powder, Powder Foundation. Here's my progress. Pretty soon I'm going to stop being able to get anything out of here with my brush, so I may call it done soon. Remember, this is a light coverage foundation. I just want to even my skin tone a little bit, get rid of some redness, and that's it. Not trying to get rid of my freckles, my natural freckles or anything of the sorts. And I really, fortunately, I really don't have any acne or acne scars to, that I want to hide. Fortunately, I know I'm fortunate. I don't take that for granted at all. All right, enough. Next, I'm going in with some bronzer, the butter bronzer. You've already seen my previous Get Ready With Me Shop My Stash video. This is my progress. It's not much yet. What I do is I like to use my bronzer a little higher up as, as well as the uh, blush to give it a lifting, give my skin a lifting effect. This bronzer is a little warm tone for me. Probably can't see it well because of the light. It's, uh, I'm, filming, I'm filming in front of my window because I really like the, the light blush. Using the Sigma Powder Blush brush, F10. For blush, I'm still using the Butter blush in the shade Nude Silk, although I really don't like the scent of this blush, but it doesn't cause me any allergic reactions or anything, so I'll just... As long as I can cope with the smell. It's really floral and strong. I like to use it up here color flush. I really don't use much at the time, so it's really a little goes a long way. This is quite a subtle blush and I'm going to take ages to pen this, but it's fine. Yeah, I really like this eye look. I'm going to be taking a photograph for the thumbnail. I'm going to be able to see it better that way. Okay, so I'm a little scared. Now I need to do the lower lash line, but first let's do highlighter. Progress. I actually, I'm actually considering decluttering this little rest of highlighter because I feel that it doesn't give me as much highlighting power as it used to be. Because I think I'm getting a hard pen all over it. So this is a monochromatic look. Green. <laughs> Duh. I also like to use this brush to give the nose bridge a little glow. Keep its bow. And now I'm going in with a fluffier highlighter brush to f to highlight the high points of my cheeks, forehead. It's good. It is good. And now let's work on the lower lash line with these pigments and the base on. Oh man, <laughs> this should be fun. Let me get a smudging brush. This is this is my favorite smudge brush at the moment. It's the, the Real Techniques smudge brush. And what I want to do is a little pop of color. And for that, I was talking about a monochromatic look, but I decided either way. See this pigment here? Flapper. It's magenta. Ooh, baby. I'm not mad at it. It's magenta. Gorgeous color. Mood crayons from Linda Hallberg. Yellow. Ooh, 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 happy mood. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's add some lashes, shall we? For that, we're going to need liner. And the liner is right over here. I use, I'm trying to use up this uh, Essence Superfine liquid liner. It's black. Wish me luck. 
I'm just laying a base for the uh, magnetic liner. One of these days I'll just sit here and practice until I get it. A good wing skills. I'm going to do colorful eyelashes today. Ethereal. Black lashes with pink hairs. Give it a good shake because this liner is finicky. Okay. Liner done. Let me just see if it dries a bit. This look brings up the green in my eyes. I like it. Now, apply the lashes. Much liner probably. That thick line. Let it dry off a little bit. This one's on here. Perfect. It's curious. It's interesting because the band on these lashes is thicker and oops. The band on these lashes on this type. See the pink. It's thicker and stiffer than the other than the other styles I've tried so far. And now uh, we still have to do the lip, right? Uh, I'm trying to use up this. Uh, you already know it. This nude by nature, uh, dusky nude. So this is what I'm going to do. Hi guys, it's the end of the day here. Uh, it's been over eight hours since I've applied the the eyeshadow, uh, and I think this base, the NYX base with the with the Sample Beauty pigments, work really well together. There's a bit of creasing, but that's just that um, I have hooded eyes, slightly hooded, and uh, yeah, it transfers a bit and it creases. It's just normal, normal wear. I think this is quite quite the look, actually. I'm happy with these. I recommend these pigments, really. So, yeah, this is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And give it a thumbs up if you really liked it. And consider subscribing. And if you do, please hit the bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video, okay? So, this is it for this one. I'll see you on my next one. Bye-bye!